when the art happens. You know when you're in the middle of a movie and you're absolutely moved to tears out of nowhere and it catches you off guard? Or when you're just biting your nails, you don't even realize you're biting your nails, or really, you go for the popcorn and you bite your hand instead because you're just so on edge of your seat? Well, I have two individuals in-house today that does exactly that through the Wasega Beach Film Festival, Short Film Festival, where there's a whole bunch of videos that we've gone through and it's just such, such an awesome time. So, welcome to the show. Thank Diana you. Diana. Pleasure. Pleasure. Pleasure having you. And Laura. Thanks, Damon. Tell you, sometimes art happens, eh? Tell us a little bit about the Wasega Beach Film Festival. Well, there's so much to say. We completed our fourth annual film festival this past year, and we're gearing up to the fifth annual, and it's just evolving since it first started. We were in this small little room, the Lion's Den at the Recplex, and we evolved now to Hall 1A and B. So I'm really pleased to see how it's growing and the interest of international films coming to Wasaga Beach. International films. How did you hook that one? <laughs> Well, through my connection with Stage 32, which is basically like a Facebook meets LinkedIn, and it's it's all producers, actors, and directors worldwide. So from promoting the film festival, I got them to enter their films. So we got people from Australia, Israel, Egypt, United Kingdom, Japan, Sweden, just coming in. And they're all coming to Wasaga Beach Short Film Festival. Who knew? <laughs> wow. Wow. How many films were there this year? We had a total of about 56 Holy and smokes. 44 were qualified because we do have to qualify because of language and content and stuff like that. Okay, so. okay, mm -hmm. so 44 actually got presented. Now, can anyone be a part of the film festival? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely. We got all different categories, uh, the youth category, which we're trying to promote, and you know, even we're trying to extend to the uh, aboriginals. So it's open from whoever would want to put a film and just get their story told out there. Okay, okay. And so that's from a from a composer, promoter, director point of view. If I wanted to view some of the films at the film festival to partake in that, can I do that as well? You can view what we do uh, at the Wasara Beach Short Film Festival. We have online voting, okay. which counts for 30%. Oh, we have our judges, and as you may know, Damien, you were a judge for the past two years. <laughs> and that also counts for 30%. And then the public viewing vote is 40%, and we tabulate all that, and then we get the winner. Okay, so it's not just a little closed camp of no, individuals. No. It's very much community-driven. Wow, wow. What's your website? It's wasagafilmfestival.com, and you can also visit our Facebook uh, for the latest update. And when do you have the film festival? When do we have the film festival? Uh, well, <laughs> we usually do it on the shoulder season in Wasaga Beach, which is, uh, this past year was January 24th, so next year will be January 23rd, 2016. This year we expanded to two days, so we had the Friday and the Saturday. So the Friday we're doing public view and vote, and the Saturday we had the youth category public view and vote, and then it was followed by the Red Carpet Gala Awards. Okay, okay. And Laura, you handle a lot of the stage sides of things. That's right, yes. Diana had me come on board last year with the film festival, and I stage managed all the events for the red carpet and I love the experience of course my background is theater and stage management as well as directing so this year I got an opportunity to get on board with the committee right from the get-go so I was able to organize things and uh, just everything ran so smoothly this year it's just such a wonderful experience to be on board did it make a big difference this year getting in there? oh it made <laughs> yes. a big, I was so happy to have her <laughs> yes. trust me yes you really do I mean she did a fantastic job well last year I gotten on board I think two days before right. you know can you come in and and help guide some of the uh, performers and whatnot. But this year, it was setting up sound checks and you know making sure all the sound, the lights, and everything was set up, the set design, and I felt like an orchestrator, you know, with the earpiece and making sure everybody's you know right on schedule and doing what they need to do. It was a great experience. For those of you that have never been, you have to check out their gala and and you have to check this out. I tell you because. I was astounded when I went in there this year. The 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 way the stage was set up mm -hmm. and how you did it, like I feel like I'm down in in the states. You just did such a fantastic job, and then the food was phenomenal. The movies were sensational this year. You did such a fantastic job. Is it is it a lot of work to kind of put that kind of you get live entertainment as well, yes, correct? Yes, we have live when entertainment. Yes. I'd like to give a nod off to Gary Sawatsky from Skull Island. He did the set design this, this year, yes. and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous set design that he did. Yeah, I went up to Gary because I wanted to have like that vintage Gatsby type of look, Hollywood vintage. So he came up with this idea, and he says, what do you think of this? And I was like, hmm, I don't know. So he put it together, and it really came out really nice on pictures and everything on camera, so it really made a big difference having that 
set and and also the entertainer and the red carpet greetings as well too which I've collected uh, throughout the year you know I was really pleased with all these people I've added more I've added more entertainment so for next year it's going to change again I like to change it the set that's probably going to change we're, we're gearing towards the fifth year so you know we're, we're thinking bigger mm -hmm. we're trying to go for grant yes. money Get bigger and you know time. bring more stuff and and just you know build it from there as you may know you start small and you start seeing it grow so you know the, the vision basically for the committee members and everyone is that we'd like to see it like going up as far as 10 days so far we're starting two days so if we can just grow on it and and really stretch it out to southern georgian bay as well to get other areas as well involved but always maintaining that it's wasaga beach you know that it has that film festival which is kind of unique what inspired you to make a film festival? When I, you know, when I woke up, wake up in the morning, the first thing I don't think is I'm going to start a film festival. Like, <laughs> 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 this was started four years ago by someone who had an idea yes, in Wasaga okay. Beach, mm -hmm. and it came basically from going from international film festival, like the Cannes Film Festival and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And they said, well, why don't we do something like this? Wasaga Beach is a small little area with little people, but let's bring the world to it. That's what we call it, bringing the world to Wasaga Beach through a shared passion for film and the power of storytelling. So it's someone's idea that started with that. Let's bring the attention. And then from there, develop and look where it is now. So, yeah. Some things that I love to hear are some of the crazy things that happen behind the scenes. So you had this. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, yes. What went wrong? <laughs> Lauren, can, Lauren can share a little bit of some of the stuff. Yes, I'm not going to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's always my favorite area. Yes. Is of course the audience doesn't realize all those little glitches that happen, and they happen every live show, from the Oscars all the way down to our wonderful film festival. But I remember the opening scene. We had this great film clip. That that we had um, filmed and we were presenting it and I gave the uh, the guy that was pulling up the projection screen the wrong sound cue so we started to roll up the projection screen and I'm saying on the walkie talkie oh no no take it down take it down again so I mean it was literally three <laughs> seconds of it going up and then coming back down but you know it's just moments you know like that that are just they're wonderful they give you that rush yes yes <laughs> you know yes. when you're stage managing what what stage productions have you done in your past uh, well, I come from a theater family, mm -hmm. so my mom tended to be the stage manager, the producer, and my dad was always either the actor or the director. So I was a backstage baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I went to university, I stage managed Once on this Island at St. Um, uh, St. Michael's College at University of Toronto, and I fell in love with that, the power of the headpiece. <laughs> <laughs> and her arms. She's yeah, yeah. good at <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Diane is starting to learn my body language and my signals. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up where it go. Yeah. And tell us about your history, Diane. Uh, my background is radio and television. I worked at CBC for years and years, and, and I do have a passion for this industry, and I do a whole bunch of stuff. I, I host an online weekly radio show for Beach Booster Radio called Beach Corner. As you may know, I've had you as a guest a few mm -hmm. times. I also have a column. So, you know, I've worked, like, on the Junos and Geminis and all those different awards, which helps with the film festival to incorporate all the stuff that I've learned over the years, and I have a passion for that, so enjoy it. I do believe we have photos of some of your recent work or gala uh, here oh, in the do, studio. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, we do. <laughs> if we can talk to some of those things that, that we see. So this, this first photo is? Is the committee members. So this is at the end of the film festival where Gary was our MC and who is the chair of the Wasaga Beach Art Film Festival, Gary Sarantola. And basically he's just thanking the whole uh, committee and there we are in the front mm -hmm. and um, just, you know, enjoying the applause of all our hard work yes. that we have done because it was a it's a big lot of work. applause. It was yeah, wonderful to get that feedback from the audience. Yes, yes. We did a fantastic. Who's that tall guy in the middle? <laughs> oh, that's hmm, Khalil. <laughs> and Khalil is part of our committee member, and he was also a presenter as well as a judge. That is awesome. Khalil is the man behind the scenes of Art Happens. He makes all this possible, along with the amazing talents of Brian Backland and Darren Peterkin. Can I keep name dropping? But, <laughs> no, it's, it's such an awesome crew that makes this happen. It's great to see him part of your crew because he's a great, great. Always oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. We're yes. pleased to have him on yes. board. The, the, the second one. What's this? The one? second one is Dale Goldhawk. As we all know, Goldhawk fights back from Zoomer Radio. Mm -hmm. as well as Musa Godadafar. He's a Toronto producer, and he won the Gold Award for the regional category, and uh, it was for Sweet Coffee. So he was there, and that's his son, and he basically gave his award to his son, mm -hmm. which I thought was really nice. Mm -hmm. And he was really impressed with uh, the whole uh, film festival. That was really touching. Yeah. I remember his speech. It was very, very nice. Beautiful. It was. Very beautiful, yes. 
this is. And the next picture, well, we all know Rosemary O'Brien, general manager of the Collingwood Elvis Festival. She was presenting a music video. And this is Mary Ann Watts. And she, this is her second year winning the, uh, ba basically, the regional category of the Music Video Platinum Award. So she's a multi-platinum award mm. <laughs> winner in Wasaga Beach Short Film Festival. And she won that for the uh, music video of uh, Burn for, by Too Nice. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. Yes. Beautifully done, yeah. So you got to come see this stuff. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, we got the, well, they were multi, multi winners that night. Yeah, this is the t uh, Matt Tipold yes. and David Redman. And there they are with all their certificate. They were the grand winners. So uh, they, they won many awards that night. Wow. You had live performances. Could you tell us some of the live performances that occurred at the gala? We had a wonderful mix mm -hmm. that uh, Diana had picked. We had an Elvis impersonator. We had a youth performer. Of course, we had uh, one of your uh, students, Sydney, yeah. that was uh, performing as well. Yeah, I love her voice. She's we had the beautiful. Ariel Silks yes. uh, performing. You Ariel know, Silks the opening. Collingwood. When, mm -hmm. when they can, oh, it's so stunning when they when they perform, isn't it? Just absolutely. Yes, yes, yeah. It, they opened the whole show, and we also had the singing. The singing, yep, the Singing Triangle Squad. Which they you can were, see on the picture. Um, mm -hmm. They're a group that I work with, and they're local youth talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year we did Kids on Broadway and toured all through the area. So um, with this show, when Diane had asked if the Singing Triangle Squad could perform, they closed the first act singing Don't Stop Believing. And the audience was just clapping, and it was just so exciting for them. They felt like celebrities, and mm -hmm. it was such a great feeling for them. They did a wonderful job. Was it difficult to find all the acts to fill those spots, or did, they, did people come out of would work quickly. Well, I usually go around and I sort of select. Like this year, I did a featured artist, which was Austin McCartney, because he was the winner of the Collingwood Idol. And then I usually like to pick some youngsters as well, too. So mm -hmm. I went to you because I know Spalding School of Music. I discovered Sydney because I heard her voice and I said I'd like to have someone like that. So I basically try and pick a mixture of what we can get, you know, mm -hmm. from the Elvis to an opera singer. We were supposed to have uh, a oh, Kurt, Kurt yes. to sing. Unfortunately, that night he couldn't sing because yeah. his voice was something yeah, wrong sore with his throat. throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I tried to mix a little bit. I want Broadway, just a nice little mixture. And, and just showcase it to everyone in town. Let them know what we have because there are a lot of talent. That is something that really caught me off guard when, when I saw your first first show, uh, not this year, but even last year. Mm -hmm. so I thought it was just going to go and there's going to be the awards and maybe occasional song, but the you really go through a lot of effort. It's highly entertaining. It's highly engaging. It's like art happens right there. You don't even, you just <laughs> go and there's a little bit of, there, there's even like fine artists and they're showcasing their work and it's just phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do have artists exhibiting their work, absolutely. Yes. Yes. And we should try and do that, the public view and vote. So when they have a break, they have something they can go and see. Right. And take a look. Absolutely. Yeah, we do try and showcase everybody as much as we can. Oh, we had the uh, youth dance groups as well uh, yes. in the air that performed mm -hmm. two of them. And it was nice that we have performers during the public view and vote. So it isn't that like you just go and sit there and watch, you know, 44 films. There's mm -hmm. entertainment to help, you know, break that up. So we treat the whole weekend, you know, with that as special a big festival. Little, yeah. yeah, it does give you a break from screen because mm -hmm. you do have to walk away. If not, it's too intense, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, there are, can you tell me some of the categories you had again? There was action, there was comedy, there was drama. Very good, music video, yes. documentary. Yes. And video advertisement, where local businesses can yes. put a video. It's from 30 seconds to a minute, and this is your opportunity to basically sell your product and mm. have an opportunity to showcase to everyone. Mm, mm -hmm. It's some exceptional videos. Yeah, And also, some we have to thank our hungry. sponsors, Laura. Yes. We cannot say enough thanks to all the sponsors who contributed to this film festival. Without them, we wouldn't be able to put this show. Excellent. More pictures. What have you got? More pictures. The very last one is Damien and oh. Sydney. Oh, there sure. you go. <laughs> toot, toot. You're very tough. I mean, you know, when I first heard her sing Hallelujah, I just got oh, shivers. And, and I, I had to bring her on the show. It was just like one of those, okay, she's got to be there because it, it just caught my attention. Yeah. So what lies ahead for the Sega Beach Film Festival? What do we look forward to? Well, hopefully, you know, bigger and better. Don't, you know, we'll change the set a little bit slightly. Uh, but, but the main thing is really uh, getting filmmakers worldwide, regional, hopefully get the Aboriginal on board, more youth. Youth, yes. Youth and, well. and uh, you know, I'd like to see more international, but I want to see a lot of films coming. Like, you know, we got 56 or 57 last year. Like, come on, let's bring it close to 100. You know, we need the films. Without the films, you can't do a film festival. So films pay, play a very big part. 
So even high school students that have films done for their AV Absolutely. projects. Absolutely, they are welcome. Musicians making videos to promote their band. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, all. Every, anyone who has a story to tell, it could be on your smartphone, it could be whatever device you'd like to, to use, go ahead, submit it. There's your chance. Excellent. And how would, again, would we go about doing that? You just go on uh, our website, which is the Wasaga Film Festival.com, and there's rules and regulations, there's mm -hmm. submissions form. The submissions will begin May 1st till November 27, 2015. There's no entry fees. So there you go. Enter your films. We, we want to see them. We want to see your stories. Share them to the world. If I was some, give me some advice. If I was a young filmmaker setting out to do, to, to join your festival or submit a film, what kind of things do you look for in a film or, or what, what would you make, what do you deem a high quality film? What would I kind of shoot like? Well, high quality, I mean, today everyone has YouTube, as you may know, everyone's doing their own little video. Mm. So as far as high quality, you know, as long as you got a, a good vision, a good story, I think the story is yeah, the what really, looks. really counts, yeah. you know, animation, um, anything like that, climation. We even got climation one year, like it was quite amazing. Mm. So uh, the, the story is really what it is, mm. you know, I mean. That it comes from a point of view. Like I had even entered a, a video um, in the music video category and uh, my singing triangle squad, we did a video of It's a Hard Knock Life and we did the perspective of It's a Hard Knock Life living in Wasaga Beach. But all the scenes and segments were how much fun it is to live in Wasaga Beach. Mm. So again, it's just, it was a point of view. First time I ever shot a video, but uh, you know, you just you put in that effort and you can tell when something comes from the heart when there's a point of view in a story and it's a good way of promoting a town you know Wasaga Beach has so much to offer so whoever wants to tell a story it's a, it's a nice way of showcasing our beautiful landscape excellent excellent I know what you love about what you do the power of the headset yes I <laughs> <laughs> what is it you love about about running the, the show and, and doing what you do oh my gosh the thrill of watching it unfold I think this year after four years I must say you know I, I really had a tear in my eye just to seeing it on paper and then basically watching it come to life like yes. I was amazed and you know just getting everyone and and you know I'm always trying to go for like the the bigger artists to come in, like my red carpet uh, greetings. I was trying to reach out as much as I can. I can't always get who I'd like to, but you know, it takes me a whole year. Like I work on a film festival almost every day. It's like a full-time job and you know, it is for the community and I want to bring, you know, that entertainment, that sort of Hollywoodness that that we can gain from from all this and, and bringing all these people and let them discover about the Wasaga Beach because a lot of them don't even know about this whole area. You know, Blue Mountain, Collinwood, they come up and they're like, Oh, I didn't know. I used to come here when I was a kid. So having them, you know, bringing them up for an opportunity to see films, but at the same time, you know, hopefully we can develop schools, films, mm -hmm. uh, you know, encourage producers from the city coming up here because they do get a tax break filming up here compared to in, in Toronto. And that will generate business mm -hmm. and, and jobs for people locally, you know, so. Mm -hmm. One last thing I, I do remember, every year you surprise me with a special greeter. I'm amazed at the reach of what you guys mm -hmm. have and some of the people that, that you've had on. Last year you had who as a special greeter giving the oh, award? Rick um, oh, Rick Oh, as an award? Yeah, no, the, yes, that's oh, right. Oh, the Rick, red greeting. The red, yeah, the red greeting, greeting, yes. Oh, yes. the greeting, red yeah, greeting, the red carpet greeting. Uh, we had Rick Mercer. That is Awesome. Yeah, that's well. That's because of my background with CBC, I was able to go right. to you know sort of got this worked out. So Rick Mercer did that. And this year you had. And this year we had Gina Benelli, Marilyn Lightstone, Brent awesome. Butt from Corner Gas, oh. and the well-known Moses Nimer. That is, I can't wait to see what <laughs> next year. I know. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> well, join us next time for more art happens because sometimes art just happens. Art Happens is brought to you in part by the Spalding School of Music, Backland Photography, and the horrible pain of celiacs everywhere.